Hi. In this video, I will walk through a hydrogen inspection solution using the ArcGIS app. I'm on my public works hub and will move to the water page to access the hydrogen inspection workflow. I'll open the hydrogen inspection project. And there are three steps in this workflow. Dispatch, review, and monitor. Let's start by creating a few hydrogen inspections. I'll zoom into my location out there and I'll select these two hydrants. I'll select them both, create an assignment, and this will be a hydrogen, inspe a hydrogen inspection assignment. These are my ISIL IDs assigned to myself. I'll make it a critical priority due by end of day tomorrow. And I'll hit create assignment. In the field, using my mobile device, I can see all the hydrogen inspections assigned to myself. I can sort by due date, distance, or by the date assigned. I'll select this assignment that I've just created. I'll hit acknowledge, start, and I can choose to inspect the hydrant. And this opens my hydrogen inspection form. I've got my hydrant ID already pre-populated and I'll select my name. For our fall inspections, we perform only a visual inspection and winterization. Summer inspections involve quite a bit more. Caps have been greased, chains have been freed, hydrant head has been repainted, operating nut, okay, nozzles okay, valve and seat okay, packing and drainage are okay. So no maintenance is requ required. Now, if I change the painting to painting required, this field will now flag this inspection as an inspection that requires follow-up. I flushed the hydrant for two minutes and I can capture some additional observations. Turbidity, chlorine, and condition of the valve. Capturing the fire flow through this form is extremely helpful because I can auto-calculate the flow based on the pitot gauge pressure reading, the orifice size, and the C factor. So uh, the result is at 2,273 gallons per minute. If I change this, the C factor to 0 0.8, I get a different result. Let's submit the fire flow. So flushing has been completed, fire flow has been completed. I can also add a water loss record. And finally, I'll add a photo of the hydrant. And I'll submit the inspection. I'll hit complete on this assignment, which will remove it from my to-do list, and I can now move on to the next inspection. Back in the office, under the review tab, this inspection will now show up as an inspection that needs to be reviewed. I can review the information and the photo, and I will now actually search up this hydrant and send someone out to paint the hydrant. This will be a hydrant paint assignment assigned to myself and I'll quickly create the assignment. I can now go ahead and close this inspection, which would allow me to move on and review the next inspection. Under Monitor, this dashboard has really two functions. It provides me with a situational awareness of the work that is being completed, how many hydrants have been inspected, flushed, or repainted, and the status of these inspections. It also allows me to access my records. These can be recently submitted records, such as this most recent one that we've just submitted or any historic records. For example, 
I can select a specific hydrant and I'll be able to see these two inspections that have been performed on this specific hydrant. By interactively filter, filtering the records, I can easily retrieve inspections of a certain type or within a certain date range. And that was how to perform a complete hydrant inspection workflow. We dispatched inspections to field staff, reviewed incoming records, and we were finally able to, to easily access our records and monitor the program.